Hi and welcome. My name is Jonathan. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to try and stress test my Mac OS X Hackintosh. What's a Hackintosh? Well, a Hackintosh is essentially the Mac operating system running on generic PC components. Generally, a, a Mac, the Mac operating system, of course, is installed on Mac branded hardware like MacBooks and iMacs. But in this case, I've assembled several components, generic stuff you can buy at any PC store, and I've installed the Mac operating system. I'm running a Core i7-950, 10 gigabytes of RAM, an ATI 5770 GPU, and a 120 gigabyte Vertex solid state drive for my boot partition. I'm running OS 10 10.6.5. I'm going to be starting up 66 applications simultaneously. <clears throat> Just pull it up here. So you'll note that I've selected a number of different applications. I've excluded some folders. I've also excluded some applications that uh, will go into full screen and kind of mess up the, the effect of this test. But I haven't shied away from any of the big programs, programs like Photoshop and Illustrator and Aperture. So this should definitely test the machine and, and give it some uh, something to chew on. Just as a frame of reference, uh, I, I was running a 2009 iMac before this and if I wanted to start up Photoshop it would take 8 to 10 seconds to be honest and it wasn't a slow machine otherwise but Photoshop is a big application but today I'm going to be running 66 applications several of which are as big as Photoshop or even bigger. So here we go. I'm going to tap Command O to open all of these selected applications. Well, that looks to be about it. So that was about eight to 10 seconds. I don't know exactly but all of our applications are open. You can see a whole bunch of them demanding attention there in the dock. <clears throat> and if I go to this corner of the screen, this is all of the applications. I suppose that pretty much any modern computer could theoretically start up a great number of programs, but the real test is to see whether it's still usable at this state. So I'm gonna go down to Chrome and let's see whether the performance is half decent. I'm gonna go to a flash site and sure enough it's loading without any issues whatsoever. I'd like to take an opportunity just to thank a couple of the resources that I used. The first one being uh, a site called tonymacx86.blogspot.com. The Tony Mac website is, uh, is a place where Hackintoshers, if you will, can download some software. There's a forum there, and it was an uh, just a fantastic resource for me. Had I not had that site, it, I would not have ever attempted this this little experiment of mine. But uh, with it, I've I've managed to get my my Hackintosh up and running, and it's working great so far. There were a couple of hiccups, but again, I was able to re uh, access the resources. If any one of you are interested in running a Hackintosh, uh, I will be posting some links and information on my website and uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube then I'll be posting a couple of links just in the, uh, the description below. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day.